post-disaster nuclear safety efforts continue in Japan. On Sunday, May 22nd, Japanese economics minister Kaoru Yosono stated that the government may need to spend up to 184 billion U.S. dollars for reconstruction efforts. However, funding could be affected by the recent announcement of a recession, with nearly 50 percent of the 24,000 businesses in the region being impacted, with hundreds expected to close. The effect is also being felt overseas, with British car production currently slowed due to shortage of parts. According to the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, UK car production decreased by 12.2% in April. On Sunday, Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan, Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao, and South Korean President Lee Myung-bak met at a trilateral summit in Tokyo, where China and South Korea pledged to help Japan in recovery efforts. The three leaders also agreed to establish an early warning system to alert of any future nuclear emergencies and affirmed their joint commitment to limiting nuclear energy to dependency through alternative energy and energy conservation measures. Meanwhile, Fukushima Daiichi plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, posted an annual net loss of 15 billion U.S. dollars, the largest of any non-financial company in Japanese history, resulting from the worst nuclear crisis in 25 years. Saying that he would take responsibility for the accident, the utility's head, Masataka Shimizu, announced that he would step down. On Saturday, plant officials revealed that a leak of highly radioactive water from a storage pit outside reactor number three resulted in the seepage of 100 times the permissible limit of radioactive materials into the Pacific Ocean. On the same day, a megafloat reservoir arrived. This structure can hold 10,000 tons of water and will be used to store some of nearly 90,000 tons of highly radioactive waste water accumulated at the reactor buildings. On Monday, 400 protesters, many parents of children attending schools around the nuclear facility, arrived at Japan's Education and Science Ministry to submit a petition with over 15,000 signatures calling for greater nuclear safety for the young students. Following the Fukushima Daiichi accident, the government had raised the radiation exposure permissible to 20 times higher than before the March 11th disaster. The petition urged for the safety levels to be lowered to one millisievert per year, as recommended Recommended by the International Commission on Radiological Protection, while also asking the ministry to do its utmost to reduce radiation levels at the schools, with thousands of residents still unable to return to their homes within a 20-kilometer radius of the nuclear plant due to dangerous levels of radiation, at least 20 schools in the region remain completely closed. Our appreciation, Japanese, South Korean, Chinese and international governments, experts and individuals working toward a safer future. We pray for the steady restoration of daily regularity in Japan and that such disasters may be averted by our more caring stewardship of the planet.